Now that you have completed your Stockmate web setup, it's time to get your tablet set up and ready to go. Many of the procedures you completed on the web can also be carried out using the tablets, so you can update paddock and animal details and edit and create session templates on the go. Please ensure the following steps are completed before using Stockmate on the Android tablet. Note that these steps may differ slightly between tablet models. The screenshots used throughout are taken from a Samsung Galaxy S2. Turn on the tablet and step through the initial automatic setup if required. It's highly important to ensure that the tablet date and time is correct. This may be visible under Settings and General Management. Check the date and time regularly and ensure it is updated if the tablet is reset or the battery drained as an incorrect date and time will impact your session records and reporting. The next step is to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Depending on the brand of tablet this is likely to be found under Settings, Connections, Wi-Fi. Select your available network and enter your network key. Confirm the tablet software is up to date. This may be visible in Settings, Software Update. Check for updates and download and install the latest Android update if required. Then you can activate the tablet's GPS capability. This may be visible under Settings and Connections. Ensure the Location switch is turned on and follow the prompts if required. Note that you must agree for the location services to work. Allow apps to be installed from outside the Google Play Store. This may be visible in Settings, Lock Screen and Security. Ensure the Unknown Sources switch is turned on. Tap the Stockmate app from the tablet home screen or the list of apps to open. Enter the registered email address and password and select Sign In. The sync function is required to synchronise data between the tablet and the website. It is recommended that you run sync both before and after entering data on a tablet. We recommend synchronising data regularly. If tablet data has not been synchronised to the web and the tablet is destroyed, the data cannot be recovered. Ensure your tablet is Wi-Fi connected. Select Sync. Depending on the amount of data to be synchronised, this initial sync could take seconds or hours. If you have already completed part or all of the setup using the Stockmate web interface, this will ensure that all of your setup carries across to the tablet, so you're not performing extra setup procedures unnecessarily or risking overwriting data. Whilst many of our clients prefer to set up or edit their paddocks using the Stockmate web interface on a computer, you can nonetheless still edit paddocks using the tablet. Select Property Data, Paddocks List and select the required property. To add a new paddock, select the Add icon, enter the paddock name and the land area if desired, before selecting Save. To map paddocks, select Paddock, Edit Map. You can zoom in or out by moving two fingers on the screen in a pinching or separating movement. Tap and hold one finger to add a paddock boundary marker. Don't worry at this point if you're not quite happy with the positioning of the marker as this can be adjusted. Continue adding markers in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction and the paddock outline will increase. You can delete the most recent marker using the bin icon. To move a marker, tap and hold the existing marker, then move your finger to the desired position. To enable greater accuracy in moving markers, Stockmate offsets the marker to appear above your finger on the screen, so you can see exactly where the marker will be placed. When you are happy with the paddock boundary, select Save. 
In order to edit an existing paddock, select the paddock, edit the required fields and select Save. To view and edit the forage log, select Property Data, Forage Log. Choose the property in paddock and tap the Add icon. Enter the forage log fields. When you're finished, select Save. In order to view or edit the supplement log, select Property Data, Supplement Log, select the appropriate property in Paddock and tap the Add icon. Enter the supplement log fields. The environmental log allows you to add details such as rainfall or temperature measurements. To access it, select Property Data, Environmental Log and press the Add icon. Select the property that the data applies to and enter the environmental log fields. When you're finished, select Save. You can use the tablet to add a note on the fly regarding a paddock or animals in that paddock, which you can return and action later. This may be that a dam is getting low, or perhaps a number of the animals have pink eye, or that a windmill is down. Select Property Data, Notes, select the required property in paddock, then press the Add icon. Enter the Notes fields. You have the option to include a photo in the note. Select Add Photo if desired and take a picture using the tablet. If you're not happy with the picture taken, you can select either Replace Photo or Delete Photo. Select Save when you're finished. The tablet divides sessions into two options, Scan Sessions and Bulk Sessions. Scan sessions are used when scanning individual animals for arrival, handling, exit and dead. Bulk sessions are used for recording handling, exits, deads and treatments without scanning animals individually. As on the website, it is possible to set up session templates on the tablet and save these templates to use on the tablet during scan sessions. Select New Scan Session. In the Sessions Setup screen, Select the required session type, that is, arrival, handling, exit or dead, and the subtype. Specify a session description if desired. The session setup allows you to predefine which fields will be included, retained, calculated and incremented in a session. This allows users to capture animal data quickly and efficiently while maximising the quality and quantity of data being captured. Select the broad parameters to include in the session by tapping the relevant checkbox. To further modify included fields, select Edit. Tap the arrows to expand or contract the form detail. Tick or untick individual fields by tapping them. As in the web session setup, you can specify defaults and preset lists. To recap, if a default is selected, that field will initially be populated with the default in the scan session to save time, however this can be modified. If a preset list is selected, only the selected values will be available for selection against that particular field during the session, for simplification. If no preset list is defined, all possible values will be available against the relevant field. When you have finished filling in the animal details, select the back arrow in the top left corner of the screen. 
Select Add to add a treatment item which will be applied to animals within the session. Enter treatment item details, then tap the back button to keep these. If Auto Apply is ticked, the item will be applied to all session animals by default. They can be deselected for specific animals within the session. If left unticked, the treatment item will appear in the scan session, but will only be applied if you select it specifically during the session. You set up the number of gates you will require in the session for moving cattle and specify which gate each animal needs to go to to be sorted into specific paddocks. Select Add to set up a gate, input the relevant details and press the back button to retain. I might want animals to be drafted between three different paddocks depending on their attributes, so I would repeat the process three times to set up the required number of gates. Select Add to set up a draft rule which will calculate the destination of animals in the session based on preset parameters of weight, mob, gender, breed, cattle type, dentition, withholding period and European slaughter interval. Remember that if an animal meets the criteria for more than one draft rule, the animal will be assigned to the gate for the first sequenced rule for which it qualifies. If sorting based on weight, always put larger weights first in the draft rules. As on the web interface, there needs to be an else rule set up for any animals which don't meet the drafting criteria. If you are just setting up a template, you do not need to connect hardware at this point. Select Edit to set up connections to Wayscales and an RFID reader. To save this as a template for future use, tap Save as Template, name the template, then tap the back button to retain this. That completes the setup of Stockmate on your tablet. Following tutorials will look at the processes for running scan and bulk sessions and will explore Stockmate's powerful reporting capabilities.